Rocket Man, also written as Rocket Man, is a 1997 American comic science fiction film directed by Stuart Gillard and starring Harland Williams, Jessica Lundy, William Sadler, and Jeffrey DeMunn. It was produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Caravan Pictures, and was released on October 10, 1997. Topic. Plot NASA is training for the first manned mission to Mars by the spacecraft Ares. Due to a supposed glitch in the computer navigation system, NASA looks for the original programmer of the software to understand why it seems to be broken. Fred Z. Randall, Harland Williams, the programmer who wrote the software, meets Paul Wick, Jeffrey DeMunn, the flight director of the Mars mission, William. Wild Bill. Overbeck William Sadler, the commander of the Mars mission, and astronaut Gary Hackman Peter Onorati, the computer specialist. After a display of hard-headed stubbornness by Gary, he is hit in the head by a model of the Pilgrim 1 Mars lander, resulting in a skull fracture. NASA decides to replace him instead of delaying the mission. Fred is brought to NASA to see if he has what it takes to be an astronaut. He, along with Gordon Peacock, go through a series of exercises, which sees Fred do well, even going as far to break every record that Bill had. In the end, Fred gets the job. While getting ready to board the Ares, Fred chickens out and refuses to go on the mission. Bud Nesbitt, Bo Bridges, who Wick claims as the cause of the Apollo 13 accident, tells Fred about the three commemorative coins given to him by President Johnson. He gave one coin to Neil Armstrong, another to Jim Lovell, and finally shows Randall a gold coin reading, Bravery. It hasn't done me much good. Bud says, Maybe it'll mean something to you one day. Randall then quotes the lion from The Wizard of Oz. If I were king of the forest. Fred, along with Commander Overbeck, geologist Julie Ford, Jessica Lundy, and Ulysses, a trained chimpanzee, will look for fossils on Mars. To save on resources, crew members are put into hypersleep for eight months while the ship heads towards Mars. Ulysses purposely takes Fred's hypersleep chamber for his own and Fred has to sleep in Ulysses' chimp-shaped chamber. He sleeps for only 13 minutes and has to stay up for eight months. While looking at Mars weather data, Fred notices severe sandstorms that could endanger the crew. He contacts Bud in Houston and tells him about the storms that are forecast to hit the landing site. If the crew get caught in the storms, they could be lost forever. Bud tells Wick about the situation but Wick ignores him. The crew makes it to Mars, after Overbeck barks at Fred for being awake the whole time and using all the food. Except food that the former despises anchovy paste, creamed liver, and gefilte fish. For painting. They land the pilgrim on the Martian surface. As Overbeck prepares to be the first human to step on Mars, Fred slips from the ladder and lands first. A day after the crew lands, the sandstorms arrive ahead of schedule. After almost losing Overbeck and Ulysses in the sandstorm, the crew lifts off from the Martian surface. Wick is replaced by Bud when it becomes clear that Wick does not trust his NASA crew. The ship has almost made it out of the sandstorm when rocks kicked up by the wind hit the lander. Pilgrim 1 loses power and begins to spin out of control. Fred has to rewire the entire system, reboot it and power everything back up in less than two minutes or they will crash. With less than 20 seconds, he has to complete the circuit. He frantically searches for something and finally shoves the commemorative coin into the slot, allowing the lander to regain power. The crew safely return to the Ares orbiting Mars. Julie calls Fred, Rocket Man, and Fred asks her to dance with him in zero gravity to, When You Wish Upon a Star. While dancing in clothes made from the space blankets Randall cut up during his accident with the sleep pod. As Fred gets ready for hypersleep one last time, Ulysses climbs into his hypersleep chamber once again, forcing Fred to stay up for another eight months on the journey back home. In a post-credits scene, the crew's flagpole on Mars is shown missing its flag. 
It is revealed that Randall's American flag boxers, which were earlier used as a replacement for the original flag, have been stolen and worn by a Martian. Topic. Cast Harland Williams as Fred Z. Rocket Man. Randall Jessica Lundy as Julie Ford William Sadler as William Wild Bill Overbeck Jeffrey DeMunn as Paul Wick James Pickens Jr. as Ben Stevens Bo Bridges as Bud Nesbitt Shelley Duvall as Mrs. Randall. Topic production The film was shot on location at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas and in Moab, Utah for the scenes on the surface on Mars. The filmmakers spent nine weeks at the Johnson Space Center, in Houston, Texas, shooting at the famous Rocket Park, the gargantuan Building 9 that houses all of the spacecraft mock-ups for the ongoing shuttle missions, and Building 32, which houses the world's largest thermal vacuum chamber and simulates all conditions of outer space except zero gravity. For the surface of Mars, the filmmakers shot in Moab, Utah, where they found giant cliffs, red rocks, a lack of vegetation, and the overall scale of what could be a distant planet. To prepare for their roles as astronauts, the three stars attended the U.S. Space Camp at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, riding in simulators and participating in other activities. Filming started on September 16, 1996 and wrapped up on November 25, 1996. Release Box office Rocket Man opened in theaters on October 10, 1997. It came in at number 6 during its opening weekend, grossing $4,472,937. The film's second weekend saw a minus 33.2% change in attendance, dropping to number 7 at the box office, with a gross of $2,987,753. It would drop to number 8 at the box office the following weekend with a gross of only $2,074,078. The film dropped out of the top 10 during its fourth weekend, coming in at 11th place with a gross of $1,454,836. It would fail to regain a top 10 spot at the box office through the remainder of its theatrical run. By the end of its theatrical run, the film had taken in $15,448,043 in total domestic gross. Topic. Home media The film was one of the first Disney titles released on DVD through a different distribution company, as Disney was not supporting DVD at the time and soon went out of print. In April 2006, the Disney Movie Club began distributing a DVD re-release. Topic. Reception On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has a score of 21% based on 19 reviews, with a weighted average rating of 3.9.10. Film critic Roger Ebert gave the film a positive 3 out of 4 stars, calling it a wacky comedy in the Jerry Lewis Jim Carrey mold. Topic. See also. List of films set on Mars